Fires over to Wedderburn, shot wide, bounces off. St. Jocks collects it, left half hash marks, puts it down into the corner for Lavelle. He works up from his knees, passes it back to Wedderburn, shot wide, bounces off the back of the net. St. Jocks picks it up, throws it in, and it slips in. Oh, but he didn't see it. Jason Nissen missed it, and it went right in. That was a goal. That was a goal. Oh, he didn't see it, and it was tough to see, folks. We got the perfect vantage point here. Fuka Fuji's pad was inside the net, and it looked like it slipped in just inside the right hash marks. They're showing the replay. It bounces off the end while St. Jocks picks it up and pushes it in, and it trickled in right there, and it comes right back out. Lloyd's got his hand in the air. He knew it went in. But Fuka Fuji did a good job of pulling it out. They're discussing it now. I don't think that any referee had the vantage point to be able to pick that up. But that, folks, was a goal. It's not going to go down as one, but it most certainly was. St. Jocks took it off the end wall. What a nice little play. They're going to have a discussion. The light never went on. Fuka Fuji did everything he could. But it looked like St. Jocks was able to bury that one. But not bury it. That's probably not the right word. If he buried it, the red light would have went on. He was able to squeak that one in, but it's going to be no goal, folks. We'll see. Jason Nissen now talking to the timekeeper. Faceoff's going to be at center now, it looks like. So maybe it is a goal. We'll find out. Marty Raymond might lose his mind if it's a goal. This could be very entertaining one way or another. This has been a heck of a game to this point. It looks like the Kings had the opportunity, and it is a goal. It counts, so the Salmon Kings take a 2-1 lead. Referee Jason Nissen saw it and pointed in. He comes over, explains it to Long Auger. I'm watching Marty Raymond. He's standing at the bench. Marty Raymond, one of the most colorful characters in all of hockey. A great man, a great coach, but he's got an unreal temper. And he could lose it. It's it's unbelievable when he does, folks. But they're giving it to Lloyd, saying Lloyd poked it in. So Hookshaw gets a penalty as well. So the Kings are going to the power play up 2-1. Marty Raymond wants to talk to Jason Nissen, and he is a hauler and over on the bench. So I'll tell you what, folks. And now Marty Raymond comes over, and he is having a heated discussion with referee Jason Nissen. But I'll tell you what, if he had the angle that we had, there was no doubt that that was in, and that was a goal. So it looks like... They're going to continue that discussion. We're going to do the out-of-town scoreboard because, hey, we got a couple of seconds here. Unless this gets really going here, we'll find out. They're showing the replay. Crowd doesn't like it. Reading 4, Elmira 1. Cincinnati skates into Dayton. 6 nothing win. Just blow them right out. Phoenix is up 4 nothing on Utah. 15 minutes left in the third. In the third period of play, Idaho is up 3 nothing on Ontario. That one in Boise. In the AHL, eight games tonight. Hershey 4-3 home win over Toronto. Binghamton loses at home 3-1 to Philly. Albany loses on the road in the shootout 4-3 to Rochester. Houston gets a 4-1 road victory. Wilkes-Barre Scranton wins at home 5-3 over Grand Rapids. Chicago loses an OT in Quad Cities 5-4. Iowa gets a 5-4 win in